Staff Sergeant Kringer, HHC 2504, 82nd Airborne. Specialist Daniel Phillips, I'm in HHC 2504, 82nd Airborne Division. My name is uh, Sergeant Harris, Zachary Harris. Specialist Estramero. Sergeant Brandon Kramer. What the 82nd Airborne Division means to me, um, America's Guard of Honor, and like that's exactly what it means to me. The 82nd Airborne Division, like they're all about, like they're all about perfection. Like just get it done and get it done right. Last night when I met Colonel Majelis, it, it was actually very um, emotional for me because he was in the 504. He was. He was one of the men, boots on the ground, that gave us the nickname Devils in Baggy Pants. And to me personally, being, being a devil, that means a lot. He's a great man, very polite, very nice guy to talk to. And it was just a great honor to be able to go out and have dinner with him and his family and to do this out in the field with him tonight. To know that we are doing it for him and with him and who we're representing is an even bigger honor. The name Devils in Baggy Pants... When the, the Germans were in, they were in Anzio, they were fighting in Anzio, every time they'd pop up from the trenches, they would see these American soldiers with baggy pants on. Every time they popped up, any direction that they looked, they, they could see them everywhere. And so they nicknamed them as Devils in Baggy Pants um, because we were, we were giving them hell. It almost seems like Colonel Magellis was one of the first guys to start with 504. He was in when they got the name Devils in Baggy Pants. And for it to come from a guy like that, and then for us to be devils in baggy pants to honor him tonight is a uh, it's awesome um it's a big brotherhood and it's something that i notice with my peers that i work with now but it's a brotherhood that i that i just experienced recently by meeting the the people that have been in world war ii in vietnam and we have so much in common we can talk about jumping out of planes together and we know exactly what we're talking about we have so much in common but yet we're so different in age group in, in different generations it's just amazing experience that I know that I could bump into an airborne man anywhere in the world and we'd have something to talk about. It's very humbling to be a, to be a part of this. Pretty nervous and very proud to, to be able to, to be to be here today, you know, and, and uh, to actually know Maggie and to get opportunity to shake his hand and meet him is, you know, I never thought I'd be able to do that. So it just makes it so much more real because, uh, you know, you go through your deployments in Iraq and you think how hard it is for us, but then you have to realize that, you know, way back when in World War II, they were going through it so much worse. You know, puts things, puts things into perspective and, you know, reminds you how, uh, how important it is to, to wear the uniform and be proud of what you've done. There's a lot of honor in the 82nd Airborne. There's a lot of history and uh, just makes me very proud to be a part of the history. For me, it's beyond anybody else's experience. And for me to actually be chosen to be here to represent Colonel Magellas and the regimental colors, it's a great honor. It's something I definitely can pass down and tell my kids and my grandkids that I was actually there next to the man that fought the hardest, the decorated officer of the 82nd Airborne Division. To me, the whole regiment is my family. I'm proud to have the torch right now. We all do the best that we can with the torch and when it's time to pass it off, we just want to make sure that when it gets passed off that it that, um, it makes people like Colonel Magellus proud. Like to look back and actually see that his unit, it is exactly how he left it.